Tonight, overflow crowds braving the cold outside at a small town Illinois bar with nearly $2 million up for grabs. After months of drawings, I think maybe May, tonight someone in Waterloo finally drew the Queen of Hearts. Five on your sides, Laura Barczewski was there and talk with the winner. They made it to the last three cards here in Waterloo, Illinois, and the winning number was number 28 for more than a million dollars. Thousands of people from all over came out for weeks to buy tickets in hopes of getting lucky in Waterloo with the Queen of Hearts game. Well, it's uh, part of the local community. It's for a good cause, and hopefully I'll win a lot of money. What are you going to do if you win? Oh, Take your sister on a trip. <laughs> buy some cars. <laughs> the jackpot ended up at $1,886,536. This is the main fundraiser for the St. Peter and Paul Catholic grade school. Small town communities, uh, the little uh, private schools, are they're just local funded and they're good that the kids come out and do great things. The principal says every week 20% of ticket sales went directly to the school. We're trying to be very frugal and make, you know, very good decisions working with the parish and, and the school and, and people involved just to make sure that, you know, we're putting the money to great use. And I, I know that, you know, one item that's been on our list of things that we've wanted to do is replace our gym roof. Number 28 is Queen of Hearts. After more than an hour of drawing numbers, Sam Houston was declared the winner. Man, my feet were freezing. I ain't cold at all anymore, at all. <laughs> just, yeah, it's just amazing. He says he put $20 worth of tickets in every week and never imagined as a retired iron worker from Redbud, Illinois, that he'd get so lucky. It's going to change a lot. I mean, it'll change anybody's. You know, it's unbelievable. Our winner says the first thing he's going to do with this money is go to Vegas. He's really excited for his eight children and says this is going to change their lives. They're going to start up the drawing again in March. Reporting in Waterloo, Laura Barczewski, five on your side. 